my name is Fiona, and in this video, I'm basically going to give a tutorial on key signatures. So what are key signatures and what information does a key signature give us? So basically, a key signature is a collection of every accidental, which is a sharper flat that's found in each major or minor scale. So a key signature is basically going to tell us what scale or key a piece is written in. So basically what the tonal center of the piece is in. So every major and minor scale has a different number of sharps or flats associated with it. For example, A major has three sharps, B major has five sharps, D flat major has five flats, C major has zero sharps and zero flats. Um, there's also something called the, you know, every major scale has a minor scale equivalent, what we call the relative minor. So for example, C major, it's relative minor which is, you know, has the same key signature as C major would be A minor. And it basically means they're both zero sharps and zero flats in the scale. Uh, the only difference is that A minor starts and ends on A, on A and it's the tonal center. Um, another example would be like G major. So G major has one sharp and its relative minor is E minor, which also has one sharp in its key signature, but it starts on E instead of G. So the tonality is an E. If you don't know which key signatures are connected with which keys, I recommend you watch my circle of fifths video. Um, that way you can kind of see how to find each of the scales and how each of the different scales has a different uh, grouping of sharps or flats. The order of sharps is all in fifths. So F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, E sharp, and B sharp. The order of flats is also in fifth relationship, except for it's going down in fifth. So you have B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat, and F flat. So that's gonna be important when we actually look at the key signatures. If you see no sharps and no flats on your, at the beginning of your piece, most likely you're in C major or A minor. And the way to tell is the first note, the last note, the chord that the chords that are used in the beginning or the end. If they're C chords in the beginning at the end, more, most likely it's gonna be in C major. Um, if you're using notes or, you know, an A minor chord in the beginning or end, you're probably an A minor. Okay, so C major, A minor, zero sharps and zero flats. All right, so let's talk about the order of sharps. So we have fat cats go down alleys eating bacon. So this is my order of sharps. The key that has one sharp, F sharp, is going to look like this. Um, this is the key of G major or it could be E minor. So basically this says, you know, all the Fs in the piece are going to be played as F sharps, not Fs. If I have a key signature that has two sharps, it's gonna go F sharp and C sharp. So every time I'm gonna add a sharp to the key signature. So start at F, I'm gonna go down one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm at F, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna go down a fourth. And that's my key signature for D major or it could be B minor. Okay, if I have three sharps, I'm gonna be, they're gonna be F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. So down four, up five. One, two, three, four, five. We're down at C sharp, one, two, three, four, five. So this is going to be the key of A major, and the relative minor of A major is F sharp minor. Okay, so we've done one, two, three. Uh, the scale that has four sharps, it's going to be F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and D sharp. So down four, up five, down four again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So four sharps, it's the key of E major, or the relative minor could be, it could be in C sharp minor. Okay, the key of five sharps. So uh, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, and A sharp. So here we go, down four, up five, down four, we're gonna go down another four. One, two, three, four, to A sharp. Okay, here we're gonna go down four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so this is the key of B major, or the relative minor, which would be G sharp minor. Okay, the key with six sharps, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, and E sharp. So I'm gonna go up five. Up five, one, two, three, four, five. The scale that has six sharps is F sharp major, and the relative minor that has six sharps is D sharp minor. Okay, and finally, if I want to do 
key signature of seven sharps, it's going to have all seven of these notes sharped. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, E sharp, and B sharp. So from E sharp, I'm going to go down a fourth. Okay, I'm going to go down a fourth. One, two, three, four. So this is my key signature for C sharp. Okay, C sharp major, or if I want to find the relative minor, it would be A sharp minor. Okay, let's take a look at the flats. The order of flats is the order of sharps, but reversed. So we have B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat, F flat. Fat cats go down alleys eating bacon. But the order of flats is just the opposite of that. Okay, so the key signature of one flat, like that, so it's on B flat. The key of one flat is F major or D minor, which is the relative minor. Okay, the scale that has two flats, we start on B flat, go up a fourth. It's gonna be B flat, one, two, three, four, E flat. B flat up a fourth is E flat. So the scale that has two flats is B flat major. The relative minor is G minor. Okay, and the scale that has three flats, the three flats in the scale are gonna be B flat, E flat, and A flat. So from here, I'm gonna go down five steps. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So the scale that has three flats is E flat major or C minor is the relative minor. Okay, the scale that has four flats, B flat, E flat, A flat, and then we're gonna go back up four steps to D flat, up four steps to D flat. The scale that has four flats is A flat major, the relative minor is F minor. Okay, the scale that has five flats, we're gonna go up four, down five, up four, down five. So we're gonna add G flat. Same thing here, we're gonna go down a fifth, G flat. Um, scale that has five flats is D flat major or B flat minor if it's the relative minor. Okay, what's the scale that has six flats? We're gonna add a C flat. So I'm gonna go up a fourth from the last flat. C flat, up a fourth. Okay, the scale that has six flats is G flat major. The relative minor is E flat minor. All right, finally, the scale that has seven flats, we're gonna add an F, so I'm gonna go down a fifth, down a fifth. Okay, so the scale that has seven flats is going to be C flat major, and the relative minor is going to be A flat minor. So how do you find the relative minor from your major scale and vice versa? So for example, if I start on C, if I'm in C major, um, to find the relative minor, I go down three half steps. One, two, three. So A minor is basically has the same notes as C major, except for it is starting and ending on A. Okay, so here's C major. I go down three step, three half steps. One, two, three. I get to A minor, which has the same notes as C major, except for it starts on A. Okay, let's do one like E flat major. Okay, so here's my E flat major scale. And I wanna find the relative minor. I'm gonna go down three half steps from the, the tonic. One, two, three. And keep the same notes as E flat major, but start and end on C. Let's say you're in a minor key um, and you wanna find the relative major. You just go up three half steps from the tonic. So if I'm in C minor, I wanna find the relative major. Start at C, go up one, two, three half steps to E flat major. If I am in F minor, so here's my scale, four flats, I'm gonna go up three half steps from the tonic. One, two, three, A flat major is the relative major of F minor. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions, you can post them in the comments below.